Yo, what is up? It's your boy underscore. Welcome back to the channel for another video. I've had a few things happen over the last month, which I've been busy with, but I'm now trying to get back into this. So let's get straight into it. Underscore. Okay, so we're going to get straight into making a trap beat for today. I'm not really sure the vibes, but just definitely trap, maybe something a bit darker on uh, the Don Tolliver side, seeing as that came out recently. So you can see with this synth sound that we're using, I've got an effect tricks on it. It's really good for adding some more unique characteristics to your pad sounds or string sounds or anything that's sort of boring the longer you hold on the note. So a really simple chord progression, but it works pretty well with a synth sound like this and it's got a nice stutter because of the effect tricks on it. Next we're going to add a sort of lead melody sound on it. So I've just copied over the progression onto this flute sound. So I'm just going to move the whole progression up an octave. And then we're going to sort of arpeggiate this. So you can see I arpeggiated the chords, but then I just messed around with the octaves and it just gives it something a bit interesting. So we're going to keep that chord progression, but we're going to change the sound of the pad into something maybe something a bit less synthy and EDM like something a bit more maybe natural like some keys uh, or an electric piano. There we go. So the purpose of the next sound is just for accenting which is just adding a couple of notes here and there that just add a bit of spice to things. So we've just got this one shot mallet sound, it sounds like this. So we're done with the basic melodies, we're now going to move on to some drums. Okay, so with the drums, I want to keep this strictly trap. Uh, it's going to be nice and simple. And then the effects I've got in there is again effect tricks. So if I put in the first block here. You can see it's already throwing in a few loops, a few stutter effects, all that cool stuff. So uh, it's a nice little easy way just to add the variation without having to manually go through it. For the rest of the drum sounds at the moment, I'm using a Tyler the Creator sound pack, which I got from Reddit. Reddit slash drum kits if you need good sounds and kits and whatnot. But at the moment, I'm having a lot of fun with the Tyler the Creator one. So let's just find a nice clap. So really simple. So now for some perk sounds, what I do here is I just make two audio channels and I pan one to the left, one to the right, and then just find some random stuff that just gives it something, you know, different and interesting. So 
So you can see some really simple percussion sounds just spaced out you know, periodically, but it automatically adds just something extra to the beat. So we're just starting off with a really simple pattern um, and then we start adding embellishments from there. So we're just going to start arranging it now that we've got the basic loop to work from and then we start working out where we need to change things up. From a lot of producers that I speak to apparently the arrangement is the thing they like the least and I understand why it can be a little bit monotonous and it can be a little bit difficult especially when you realize that some of the coolest things that you like about a track is because of the arrangement. The main thing is just feel your way through it, a bit of trial and error. With more experience you'll come up with little tricks and things that you can do that you know will sound good. And uh, yeah, I think we're done with that. I'm going to finish the arrangement and do a call outro and I'll play the beat for you in a second. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. We're back with regular uploads from this week. So make sure that you subscribe and like the video if you want to see more. Otherwise, have a good one. Peace out. Thank you.